What's up guys? Welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and today I'm just on the beach just going for some surf perch. So today's Tuesday. I was actually supposed to have work but uh, I guess we're really slow today so my boss was like yeah you can take the day off if you want. And I was like okay cool thanks. So now I'm out here I was like might as well go out do some fishing. So I wanted to come out here today and just have a real easy day. Real easy catch and cook. And I want to show you guys something you could probably do easily even if you don't have any cooking experience or fishing experience you could probably catch these fish and cook it up this way. Just using a Berkeley gold sandworm right now. I'll see if I can switch to some sand crabs if there are any right here. And then I have a slider on. Fish finder rig style. There you go. Got some bites. There it is. Oh. See that? That was a bite. Yeah, I think there's a couple bites. Oh, great, dude. Yeah. The third one might work. Yeah, the third one might work. You know, I'm just gonna fish for like an hour. So recently in my halibut video, like I was mentioning how I work, so I'm still working and I'm still working like 12 hours a day from noon to midnight and, um, and I'm trying to make as much content as possible for you guys. And you know, I love coming out here anyways, um, but I had a really supportive response from that. You know, people are just saying, you know, take it easy if you need to. Don't do it if you don't have the time, like don't overwork yourself and burn yourself out. Really thank you guys for being really supportive. So soon I'm probably gonna start doing some sponsored videos and just to, you know, just for the money really, on it to be honest. I'll get more income and then so I can save up faster and I can start traveling and doing this these kind of videos. So I love the outdoors, traveling and cooking. So combine all that three together, that's what I'm looking forward to. Right now, you know, all my videos have been mainly just in the Bay Area and in few in SoCal. Um, I want to just broaden my knowledge of any, all the coasts in the world, anywhere, really anywhere, not just the Pacific Coast. I know a lot about the Pacific right now, just, uh, I mean, the West Coast. But I don't know much about the East Coast, I don't know anything about like New Zealand, Hawaii, Japan, all these kind of places that a potential travel destination and catch and cook destination as well. So I'm looking forward to doing that kind of stuff in the future, hopefully soon, but I'm saving up for it. Let me know what you guys think about that. And we're almost at 100,000 subscribers. That's exciting. That's so exciting for me. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, and by the way, if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. You don't, oh, there we go. Ooh, that was a hit for sure. I missed it. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Consider, at least consider hitting that subscribe button. I mean, if you like the outdoors and if you like some good cooking, good food, you know, why not hit that subscribe button? Yeah, I'm getting these bites, but I haven't hooked up on anything. Oh, I did catch one. I did catch a fish. It's just tiny. It's just tiny, tiny. Tiny little guy. I'm gonna let this one go, but that's the first catch. one there is a good one there we go there's a keeper I think probably when I switch one bait to a fresh one let's see let's see oh I can't see it yet oh it's a it's a smelt this is jack smells. Damn. <laughs> what do you guys think? 
What are your opinions on smelt? Should I cook this up? This is not my plan. I guess I've never, I've actually never had smelt before. Yeah? Yeah. Why not? It'll be easy. I'll cook them up. Let's try it. See how it tastes. Eat my easy catch and cook. Well, I guess become a smelt catch and cook. I know a lot of people don't like smelt. But you know what? I actually actually have not formed my own opinion yet, so I guess we'll find out. Let's cook it up. But first, check this out. All right. I'm sure some of you know what this is here. These purple and white flowers that you see, that's all wild radish. It's called wild radish. And you see these ones here, these little, these are the seed pods of the wild radish. And these are actually quite delicious. This is one of my favorite forage greens that, that there is out here. One of my favorite ones. Really crispy and it has that little spicy radish kick. Delicious. I'm gonna harvest some of those and use that too. Cause why not, right? Also the flowers are edible and the leaves are edible too. And the leaves are pretty good. But the thing with the seed pods, you gotta get the young ones when they're still like small and green. Once they start turning like a little reddish purple, then then it's like uh if you try to eat those then they're kind of too seedy you know too much uh too hard it feels like there's a little rocks in there so you got to get these little green ones first i'm gonna throw some oil on the pan nice generous amount of oil just trying to get all the sand off of it as much as i can really but i've heard a lot of people say smelt is not very good. I think one of the reasons why it's not tasty, so I took most of it off already, but they kind of have this like dark, dark bits in the, uh, in the guts. And I think that's the part that's, that kind of throws off the taste and kind of makes it fishy too. And so when I'm gonna, I'm just uh, using my towel to take all that, the black stuff off. I already took most, most of it off when I took the guts out. You're left with a more cleaner gut cavity. I have some uh, sea salt here. This is Hawaiian sea salt. Generous amount. I got cornstarch. Right on there. On this one too. I should score it. Smoking. So by the way, I scaled and gutted this too, so. Ready? Ooh. So I got the shallots, I got some Thai chili peppers here. I'm gonna use three of them. I love Thai chilies. I love spicy. I got garlic cloves. Got my shallots, garlic, Thai chilies. I'm just gonna put it into that oil. Fry everything together. Oh, you know what? I have my uh, the radish too that I got. These are good. I actually never cook them. I usually just eat them fresh. I got some old shiso leaves too, so I'm just gonna rip, rip it and toss it in there too. You know, all this stuff. Honestly, it's, you know, you don't need everything that I put in here. Like if you don't have wild radish, you don't have to put it in. If you can't find any, it's fine. 
because the seed pods are only available in the summer usually. And but shallots, garlic, chilies, I mean anybody can find that at the store, so put all that in there. Get everything nice and kind of crispy. And we're just gonna throw it on top of the smelt and eat it like that. I'm just gonna just toss everything just on top of the fish. It's just gonna give it a lot more flavor. Finish it with a bit of lime juice here. Easy to do. You can't really mess it up unless you burn it. That's the only way really. And you can do this with perch, you can do this with smell, you can do it with whatever you want. Any kind of pan fish, pan sized fish. Mm. Mm. Yeah, see like that, that cornstarch gives it nice crispiness. The smell itself, it's not that bad. I don't know what people are tripping on. You know, it's, it's not the best fish, but it's not that bad. It's pretty good, actually. Mm. Not mushy at all. Not fishy. I think that lime juice really helps. But the flavors are, my God, garlicky. Garlicky with the shallots. And the chili, it's spicy, it's crispy. And you get that acid from the lime juice. It's tasty. Honestly, it's tasty. And you know what, the only bad thing, only one bad thing, all right? There's one, actually. It's a little sandy. Oh, I mean, if you do this at home, it's, it'll be really easy. To wash off all the sand. I actually really want to try the tail. Scoop those shallots and garlic and chili. Mm. Mm. So crunchy, so crispy. You know, sometimes I do these like catch and cook that are probably hard to replicate, especially the sushi ones. But this right here. So here my mic had died, but I was just saying that this recipe is really easy to do. You can do it even if you don't have any cooking experience and you can still make this delicious dish. I think the main ingredients are garlic, shallots, chilies, and the lime juice. And you can also add some Thai basil as well and that would be delicious. Go out, catch a fish, try it on your own. Let me know how it goes. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time.